What's up, guys? It's with Kissy Urbana here, bringing you the New Holland side pull disc mine. You've probably seen it on my old Facebook page and my new one, but I just wanted to kind of touch on it here. Uh, this is the H7230, 2008 to 2014. Look at it at the store. So, I'll show up like that. New Holland Disbond 200 series. Uh, H7230 is the default. Um, let's see. I want to put 2018 and 2014, but anyway. So, um, 209R, New Holland. 210R. New Holland and Case IH DC 103 optional rear deflector <laughs> color options is Case IH for wheel and body and New Holland all right so touch on a few things with this mower it's supposed to be a bumper pull disc bone and a lot of people have had issues with it not being a true side pull, bumper pull, whatever disc bind. It's a small little detail that honestly, it's kind of annoying for me because yeah, I want it to be a, a true draw bar pull disc bind. And apparently, so does everybody else in the community. And a lot of people, well, probably not a lot of people, but people on the old Facebook page and my new Facebook page make comments about, I just wish it was a side pull, or a true draw bar pull disc mine. So, um, this has been a joint project between myself and BSL Mining and Mapping, and I'll explain to you why it is not. So, you see how it is up here. It's got this uh, three-point drop bar, which, I mean, it swings wider. I mean, you see, it still has connection hoses. It's got, detach it, the right jack stand, connection hoses, everything, everything looks like, everything looks how it's supposed to look. I've even got the, uh, the disc fork here, so. Anyway, we'll hook it back up. You see it raises and lowers fine. Um, but everything looks how it's supposed to look. And works how it's supposed to work. And here's the thing. The reason why it's not truly... Y'all have to bear with me. I just got over a cold and sinus infection. But um, the reason it's not a true bumper pull disc mine is because the game, with how the game is hardwired, thinks that this mower is the exact same mower as this mower, which is a three point draw, a three point hookup. Um, same with the Canerverland, Canerverland, whatever. So there's no, there's honest to God, no way to make it truly a bumper pull disc bind. Anytime that you change the joint type here in the coating and change it to a bumper pull, it, um, uh, it doesn't recognize it as a mower it just recognizes it recognizes it as an implement and it will not raise and lower and it will not turn on and it will not mow it'll just fold and unfold so basically when you get it when you change that joint type to implement or trailer low or whatever i've tried both myself and bsl have tried several different things but you'll get this but you won't get the lowering like it'll it'll just fold 
and unfold and that's all you'll get so there's other things too like um, if you remember 46 mods 1431 and FS19 um, the front covers and side covers folded and unfolded like open and closed for him well I, tri I tried that on uh, I tried that on this one and uh, that was my goal I set the model up for it to have that all the um, let's find it out get under the under here well no but you see the cutter bar I set the cutter bar up to where you could see everything in there uh, the chef run rollers the whole nine yards and I was gonna is gonna be super detailed and nice and the covers won't open it's scripted everything's scripted but they won't open is there a workaround for that I or probably is I don't know but um, FS22 has been a huge pain in the ass for me compared to FS19 I'm just gonna throw that out there um, but is it's in a lot of the ways it's a, it's a very similar game they're they're very similar and but in a lot of ways they're completely different and with how something is supposed to work or how something worked in a previous game versus how it works now because I guarantee I could put this same mower in FS19 and it'll work exactly how I want it to work the same thing with that baler over there the baler you know if, if when you use it and this is the reason why it never got submitted to consoles is uh, when you used it um, the bell would come out and it would be smaller at first and then it would go to its normal size there was no workaround for that so yeah anyway that's kind of the overview for it and it is a PC only mod and I will say the reason as to why is because I know that just like a lot of y'all that probably don't want the mod or won't download the mod because it's not truly a side pull or bumper pull disc bind is that it, um, it it doesn't actually connect to the draw bar so I know that like it won't be super super popular with giants and then they'll give me a bunch of shit over it and I don't really feel like done with them so that and there's a couple other things too I know for some people more than others they're they're touchy about paid models and this is a combination of my work BSL modding and mappings work and 3d Molier international so I fucking disc Anyway, so I had to go back. I had to leave for a second when I'm back. So anyway, and you know, another thing too is like decal meshes. There's, you know, there's 15 different locations for decal meshes with uh, this mod. And the reason, and that's another reason why I don't think Giants would like it. So, so there's, I'm not even gonna try and bother submitting it. Eventually, maybe later on, I will. But where it's a combo, it's it's a joint project between myself and another monitor, and then at the same time too, there's parts of the model that he made, and there's parts of the model that I made, and there's parts of the model that uh, um, a pretty reputable 3D artist from Turbo Squid made. So it's just yeah anyway you see you have brake lights static lights turn signals flashers just like the real thing and they're all scripted to work you see them flashing off of that but um, this is a project that like I started it in FS19 way back in 2020 probably sometime in August of 2020 and um, I mean in just I think it was in the fall of 2022 during a completely different game we're just now getting this in game some people are excited some people don't give a shit and it is what it is um, 
but it's 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 been a long time coming and it's been a lot of work and I know there's people out there that think I'm holding the, the mod ransom um, because of you know I'm sitting at 1.5 thousand followers on the new page where I had 7 thousand followers on the old page and almost 8,000 followers on the old page and I would have probably been on track to make that um, if I hadn't got hacked but um, you know I was on track to have 8,000 and now I'm on this new page and there's still thousands of people that don't realize that I have a new Facebook page and I'm struggling to get past that 1.5 thousand and to get up you know to back to at least 2,000 followers so I mean, it's it's it it sucks so and I'm not holding the mod ransom I just thought well if I get 2,000 followers on Facebook I'm good I'm good with that and I'll just go ahead and release it so I do plan on release, releasing this publicly and there's people excited about that and there's people I'm sure that aren't excited about that but you know I, it's it's a project that was pretty important to me because it was the only uh, side pull New Holland mower in Farming Simulator. Um, where I'm from, everybody uses New Holland uh, for their mowers, whether the, even if they're John Deere people. But uh, it was a project that I was super excited about, that I put a lot of work in over the years, and I thought that. I guess it would have the same kind of reception, and it did three years ago, but not really. It almost seems like it almost seems like the attitudes toward the game have changed in the last three years, and I don't really know why. And also seems like at a, even after I've gotten hacked, it seems like attitudes toward me. Um, have changed even though like me getting hacked wasn't my fault um, but it seems like I'm really struggling to regain the following I had and um, just rebuild all that and I'm, I'm really really struggling hard with that and that's why I thought that like, hey guys I'm gonna shoot this mower out here at 2,000 followers and, um, you know, I'm sitting at 1.5 thousand, and I've been there for two weeks. So, I mean, I'm probably just going to go ahead and release it and just say screw it. And if y'all like it, you like it, and you don't, you don't. I mean, I try to please the community, but I realize that, like, it's farming simulator, and the community, is, the community varies from people that are 10 years old to people that are 60 years old. So, I mean, it's... You know, you're differencing opinions, differencing lifestyles, backgrounds, and walks of life, and all that shit, so you're not going to please everybody, and I can't please everybody, and I wish I could, but, you know, it don't matter how much work you put into a mod, you know, 400 people can love it, and there could be that one guy that absolutely hates it, and he will force his opinion every single time, but... And I thought that, you know, this was one of those mods that uh, was going to be pretty popular. And honestly, there really hasn't been the traction that I expected from it. But anyway, that's stuff wanted and bitching for me. I just had to kind of get that little, that little rant out there because it, uh, it's frustrating. It, it's frustrating when you, one, put three years worth of work into a page and then some foreign asshole um, just comes in and takes it all away from you and you lose you know 8,000 followers and you can't even build that following back up because of them and, and then when you put all this work to a mod over the last several months actually over the last several years considering with help I didn't do it all by myself which is a, it wouldn't have been where it is if it hadn't been for other people but you know I mean it's uh it's frustrating this this game 
has, has been great for me. And uh, this game franchise has been great for me. And at the same time, it hasn't. It's been fucking awful. But... Honestly, I just hope that... Uh, I hope that when I do put this out, you guys will enjoy it, and um, if not, I'm sure I'll hear about it. And honestly, this this little situation right here, I'm sure somebody will probably figure that out in like five seconds. And um, more power to them if they do. But anyway, so it's going over one more option. I just had to get off, I just had to get, get that rant off my chest. I'm sorry about that, but. So toggle work mode, so we'll turn it back on here. So you see, anyway, going back to the mower, these windrows here are, are wider. So toggle work mode, control Y. If you see that, it folds in and folds out those flaps. So when you do that, you get a more narrow windrow. It's one of my favorite features because, you know, if you're just doing, like, if you're playing a game and you're just doing um, grass for raptor grass bales or you're doing silage, then you don't have to worry about, um, oh, and this will cut bushes. You're welcome. But uh, you won't have to worry about going back and raking it you can just bail it right up but uh yeah so it's a pretty cool feature I enjoy it hay is pretty much the only thing I really do in this game but uh Anyway, get back to it. All right. So anyway, that's the mower. Take one more look at it. Actually, I'll turn it off here, and we'll go look at the other versions in in the uh, game. So I said this is a joint project between me and BSL. BSL did the fourteen eleven New Holland. And the DCX102, I think it is, case. And, of course, case IH and all the same thing, in case you didn't know. But, this is H7230, it's probably my favorite. I like that decal color. It's the 209R, R is for roller conditioner, and the case. Super detailed models, uh, custom dirt and wear. Accurate model. Um, there's a little spot that I screwed up with the substance painter, but other than that, it's good to go. So, anyway, there's the mower. I, like I said, I hope you guys are excited about it. If not, then I guess don't download it when I release it. I don't know. But um, that's the Case IH and New Holland Disbond 2008 to 2022. Your models, uh, like I said, this is my version. BSL modding and mapping um, is doing the older 1411 New Holland and DCX 102 case. Those are the older versions. I have the new versions. So um, there are differences too. Um, the new versions have a different draw bar. They have a different they have different lights. Um, obviously different decals and different emblems so and you don't need a very big tractor to pull this it's like 65 forces I think it is yeah 65 horsepower so you pull up a pretty small tractor and uh, yeah so there you go um, like and follow me on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash the real whiskey ceremony. It's no longer whiskey ceremony. Um, the, the URL is not. Uh, follow me on um, 
or subscribe to me on Patreon. Support me there if you want to see more stuff from me. Uh, I got a lot of stuff I need to finish in 2023 that I didn't get to in 2022, and I'm that's the only New Year's resolution I really have for this game is getting shit done. Uh, I just made an itch. So you look me up on itch. I'll link put the link in the description below. And um, yeah, I do have, I do still have my website, but the website will probably be going away after 2023 just because it, it's just not got the same traction that it did when I first launched it. So it's I've it's honestly cost me more money than I've gotten from it. It's not been a good return on investment. I haven't made uh, I thought I would at least make the year's domain um, charge in ad revenue, but I have not. So I've made 60 bucks in ad revenue in a year. Um, and the domain's like $110 a year, so it's just not worth it to keep it up for another year. Um, yeah, so anyway, we'll catch you all next time.